What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Reviving the All Arounder. We're still doing half routines uh, and this week I have uh, pommel horse, p-bars and floor to show you. No rings and high bar because both of my grips there broke uh, so I bought new ones but now I have to do just tons and tons of, um, of turns and swings to kind of get them to fit my hands again and get them a little bit stretched out so that I can do my routines again. So that's quite an annoying setback. Especially on high bar, it just takes so long, it's super annoying. Uh, but on rings, it's kind of okay right now. But yeah, so no rings and no high bar, you'll have to do it with those three apparatus. Oh, and I'll make sure to um, post some of my vaults uh, next episode too. But let's get into the real stuff now. Uh, starting off with floor. Floor, I tried to do a half routine already, my first half. Uh, it didn't go that well, uh, my second pass was a little bit sloppy. And the third pass was also a um, little bit crappy still. Um, I'm thinking about switching the second and the third pass up. Because the third pass is actually a little bit harder than the second. Uh, so we'll see what we will do there. Um, but after I did that, I was like, eh, this um, Arabian double pike is pretty good. I don't really need to practice it that much anymore. Uh, so then I just did the, um, the first half without the Arabian double pike. And that was a lot better like the full punch two and a half was perfect i really if i can hit it every time like that i'd be so happy um but the one and a half punch double was um i didn't hit that uh, really uh, explosive it was at the right angle but i wasn't really prepared to bounce out of it so i had to kind of tuck that one in um, but i was still pretty happy that i could manage to get it on my feet even when it wasn't perfect and then i did the full second half so that's the rollout the Russians, two and a half punch half, and the triple twist. I did that like three times, and all the three times were pretty good. I still have a little bit of work to do uh, on my cleanness and form and landings, all that kind of stuff, but um, the endurance is definitely there. So I'm super happy that I switched the rollout and the two and a half punch half around. The rollout is just so much easier now, it flows really well. And I've also started doing it from a back handspring, which makes it even easier. And I feel like my Russians have improved a lot too. Normally they were uh, really slow and I just stepped around and now I'm kind of hopping and it just goes a little bit faster and it seems more controlled. The only thing that wasn't so good in the half routine was my triple twist, my dismount. So after I did those half routines, um, I did some more of those one and a half punch doubles and then ran back and did the triple twist. Those one and a half punch doubles were pretty much the best that I've done all my life. I hit them super nice and the landing was very controlled. I didn't stick it, but I feel like um, if I can just land it like this, with a nice little hop forward, um, then I'm just super happy. So that's it for floor, let's move on to P-bars now. P-bars, my uh, peaches have improved so much, they feel super consistent now. And also my hummus, I've barely missed any of those. Uh, maybe I've missed a few when doing the half routine, like the peach, and then the uh, thing to upper arms and then the homma. I've missed like one or two of those. Um, but I pretty much nail them all when I do it, just the homma. And I feel like the first part is actually really consistent now. But it has to be because uh, there will be another uh, straddle front flip. That's also getting a lot better too. I've done it without the mat, uh, but I did do it with um, like Yurchenko, Yurchenko mats. Uh, so I still had some padding on my upper arms. Uh, but I still had to catch it all the way and do the front uprise. But that was very nice. Now I only have to uh, make the front uprise from handstand. It's actually quite a little bit harder than I expected it to be, so that's kind of a bummer. But from swing to the front uprise is actually really easy now. And the second part is still pretty okay. Now the moi definitely still needs some work. It's a little bit uncontrolled and like don't really feel comfortable doing it yet. Um, but it's getting a little bit better and it just needs some, some time. The second part is actually just really, uh, really short. It's just the moi and the double pike. So I think that part will be fine. It's just getting the straddle front end and then combining the first part and the second part. Uh, but that should be, that should be no problem, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with how it's going. But now on the other hand, Pommel horse wasn't that good this week. I had a feeling like I couldn't really control the elements. I was just, um, jumping up and kind of going through the motions and just trying to hit it without actually thinking of uh, how I am going to do those elements and what pointers I have to think about. I was just jumping and going and not really thinking, just going, 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 going. And on some apparatus I can do that, but not on pommel horse. Pommel horse just isn't that far. I don't have the experience with the elements that I can just um, 
kind of turn off my mind and just go for it. So what I've started doing is actually um, not doing the parts, but um, doing the separate elements again and really focusing on the pointers. So next week I will be doing uh, half routines again or like combining some parts. But for now it was just separate elements and really focusing on the quality and on the pointers. And that is also very good for my forearms because the long turns would kind of tire my forearms out and they would start to hurt a lot more. So this week was definitely a little bit better in terms of my forearms. Uh, they weren't hurting that much. Uh, so I'm happy that I made this little switch and I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the elements feel like more consistent and I kind of know what I am doing right now. So hopefully next week I will be combining elements and maybe even do some parts or have routines. And I hope that I can still think about the elements while actually doing those parts but I think it will be pretty okay I trust my own and my coach's decision to uh, kind of take a break from the half routines this week focus on the elements and then go on next week with the half routines and those kind of things so I'm super stoked to do that again and I'm also super stoked to finally be flying on the high bar again right now I just can't do it because it's so scary my grips are still like very thick and short uh, so they need a little bit more stretching uh, so I'll be doing high bar pretty much every day right now um, and hopefully I can fly around the bar next week again. But it's pretty nice that if something happens that it is on high bar because high bar I was um, pretty much the furthest in in my preparation so I can, um, I can have some complications there, that's no problem. Uh, when I can fly around the bar again I can easily do half routines right from the start again so that should be fine. Range should also be fine, it's pretty consistent and I can do pretty much everything on rings already and i am really focused on this competition i want to do my best so bad i really want to go out and make a great all-round comeback kind of thing again that's it for this episode and oh um there will be a cool little video coming up this week it's about air awareness and it's a great video so be sure to check that one out when it will be online um and share with all your friends uh, because it will be great um but yeah see you guys in the next one peace